Hi, welcome to another video of Alexandros Crypto News. Today we will touch on the topic of NFTs and artificial intelligence. But before we start with the video, guys, as always, do your own research, do your own due diligence, uh, because I don't take any responsibility for your actions. And with that being said, uh, we can dive into this video, guys. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so as you might have recently noticed, a lot of crypto channels are touching on topic of different NFT projects and AI related projects. Some of you may have already thought that all the projects that they show are good and maybe even lost some money on these coins and tokens. So let's break down a few things, okay? Firstly, you guys need to be aware that not everything that has NFT or AI in its token name is really worth looking at. Some of those projects, especially those NFT ones, are simply just profile picture type of projects and that basically means that nfts they sell have zero utility besides that they can sometimes look cool as your twitter or now so-called x profile picture and those more rare can have higher prices but you know it doesn't always go the same way okay and we'll talk about all of that same goes for AI, where there has been multiple projects that were fake, you know, they were promoted as some revolutionary artificial intelligence technology projects, where in fact there was zero technology backing those projects and they were relying on, you know, negligence basically. Uh, so how you should spot good and bad projects, you may ask. So we should start with the basics and explain NFT or non-fungible tokens, uh, as the full name says. So what is NFT and what it can give you? So NFT is sort of a digital ownership. There is many different projects that have utility behind those NFTs. So you can buy, for example, fictional house, which will earn you money, or you can stake NFTs to receive rewards in different tokens. And these are just two of tons of possible utilities behind NFTs, okay? Some NFT projects have highly limited collections that can be minted for a few bucks and can later be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And most of you probably heard about Bored Ape Yacht Club, guys, okay? Uh, which is like a pioneer to NFT projects and look at it today, okay? Floor price, uh, which is right here, okay? which is essentially the lowest price that you need to pay to obtain one of their NFTs currently sits at 27.6 Ethereum on open market, which is called OpenSea. And it is the biggest NFT market in the space and it shows you how crazy some of those projects can go. And we can even, as you can see, sort low to high and this is, um, this is the NFT right here. So for example, you have this one or this one. And as you can see, last sale for this one was 23 Ethereum. Now it is listed for 27.9. If we actually click on it, we can have a look at the history of ownership, guys. Uh, we can have a look at history of ownership. We can see offers. So what people are offering this exact seller. Uh, for his NFT, so he has an offer for 26 Ethereum 40k, uh, which he is not accepting right now. An item activity is where we can see the whole story of this particular NFT. So as you can see, it was minted two years ago for 0.08 ETH, which is less than 160 bucks now. Two years ago, uh, it was if it was in bull market, which I think it might have been, this could be like. 300 to 400 bucks but still guys 400 bucks and now in bear market it is listed for 45,000 and if nft picks back up this could be worth easily like mid 90 to 100k dollars this shows you that you can mint for literally uh, cents and you can sell it for some crazy amounts okay uh, so yeah this is basically what i wanted to show you when it comes to this exact project here so there is also royalty on nfts uh, nfts are you know pieces of software on blockchain called smart contracts uh, it is possible to include code in an nft smart contract that pays some crypto to the creator every time it gets sold and many marketplaces also have this royalty and some projects even uh, have royalties for first owner which means that if you were a first owner so you minted the nft and it gets sold from hand to hand and passed around you can get paid for every single transaction okay and they can even be used as a membership where for example if you hold a specific NFT you can get access to some limited content or events and on OpenSea if you have a look here you have different uh, categories you have art you have gaming you have memberships which I just told you about and you have PFPs which basically goes for profile pictures okay 
so you can like explore all of these projects you can explore all of these projects see uh, and look for you know projects with potential that maybe so far have small floor prices and have a lot of potential to grow in value so the floor price could also increase just look out for them okay I will tell you how to do it in just a second uh, but yeah this is like a basic explanation video honestly uh, so yeah you have those uh, membership uh, where well if you hold a specific NFT you can get access to some limited content or events so sky is the limit really by basic definition guys NFT is a unique digital identifier that is recorded on a blockchain and is used to certify ownership and authenticity it cannot be copied substituted or subdivided the ownership of NFT is recorded in the blockchain and can be transferred by the owner allowing NFTs to be sold and traded as they are and that NFTs can be created by anybody and require few or no coding skills to create. NFTs typically contain references to digital files such as artworks, photos, they can even be videos and audios. So you can, for example, obtain uh, NFT with some unique audio. There is many utilities, okay? Because NFTs are uniquely identifiable, they differ from cryptocurrencies which are fungible. The trading of NFTs, guys, in 2021 uh, increased to $17 billion over just $82 million in the previous year. And now in 2023, it's even crazier. The numbers talk for itself. And now, where does artificial intelligence come into all of this? What are AI tokens, projects, and how they can impact some of these NFT projects? AI and whole concept of it is also highly popularized. Almost everyone heard about, for example, ChatGPT or AI robots. And as mentioned above, many projects just use the AI in their name without offering real technology or utility. And I will show you something on CoinMarketCap in just a second. AI can be utilized in many different ways, from creating different trading strategies or even self-trading to arbitrage and many more. And of course, there is many projects that offer real utility with AI. So if you want a separate video about AI-based projects that I think have good potential for 2023 and 2024 and upcoming years, basically upcoming bull run, let me know in the comment section and I can make one. So now with this basic information being told, let's see what you can do to really spot a good and bad project on the market. If you just type NFT or AI, into this search you will get hundreds of results okay you can see hundreds of results really um, and some of them are just bs coins or tokens without utility just waiting for people to fomo in and to be dumped on later some of them are good obviously some of them are proven tokens and coins but if you search for ai they will there will be a lot of projects that have ai in their name or in their ticker okay so just saying that so now with that being said, what you should be paying attention for. So first, check if the team is transparent, which means if they have their identity displayed on the website, then look for KYT or KYC, which is know your team or um, know your uh, customer. Uh, essentially so there are companies that verify whether team members displayed on the website are real and they verify them okay and then if they are they provide the project with a certificate of authenticity certificate of uh, team membership and then you should check for an audit which also shows whether the project is safe or not and if they have any safety concerns check the website for utility and roadmap see whether it is promising and realistic to achieve and deliver and guys please this is also really important always read the white papers okay and i mean it i always say that in my videos always at least briefly go through white papers they have a lot of technical details which might help you determine whether you want to jump in into a project or no always do extensive research and never brainlessly fomo in because you will get wrecked that is it guys okay that is it for our today's crypto news i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will be making more of them for you so if you have any specific topics that you want me to record about please make sure to comment your suggestions down below in the comments comment like and subscribe guys and see you in the next videos coming out soon